Holly Holmes' next opponent. Who should her next opponent be? Where we're at right now, Misha Tate beat Holly Holm. Misha Tate is the champion. Uh, it's been, I don't know, a month or so, something like that. So, Holly Holm has declined fighting Cyborg. I just call her Cyborg. Everybody knows who I'm talking about. She's declined. Is that surprising? No, not at all. Um, should she have an, a re, um, an immediate rematch with Misha Tate? Absolutely not. Nobody should have, ever have an, abs an immediate rematch. Uh, I talked on that before. Rematch, if you're going to have an immediate rematch, then why have the fight in the first place? You, you see what I'm getting at? Um, I don't like rematches at all, but if there's a huge gap in time, you know, say like eight, nine years goes by, then I could see having a rematch. But, um, you know, so who, who should Holly Holm fight? I think that, uh, I don't blame her for not fighting Cyborg, because Cyborg is, I would have Cyborg winning that fight. You know, even off the steroids, you know, it'd be interesting to see, uh, you know, how Cyborg is going to do at that weight, you know, uh, even if it's a catch weight fight, and like say, you know, just it's, it's it, it'd be interesting to see how she's going to do. But, I mean, Cyborg always wins. She wins all her fights, the MMA fights. Nobody wants to fight her. It's like Fedor. Like Fedor. When Fedor was in his prime, nobody wanted to fight Fedor. And Cyborg's like the same thing. They've been telling you, they've been lying you all this time, telling you Ronda Rousey's the best fighter. And then Holly Holm comes along and just makes her look like a child. And then Misha Tate gets his big upset win. And ironically enough, ironically enough, um, the, the girl that's most likely to beat Cyborg would be Misha Tate. Just because uh, she, she, she has, she just gets a great submissions and everything. And Ronda Rousey, I think, too, could, you know, could beat Cyborg. Um, you know, either Ronda Rousey or Misha Tate. So, Holly Holm fighting Cyborg, it is a bad idea. So, what should happen with all this? I don't know what's going to happen. It looks like they're going to have uh, Misha Tate versus Ronda Rousey 3. And I'm just like, oh, man. They're just doing that because it's... it's I would say to sell tickets, but... You know, if they knew these fights are big fights, if they had Ronda Rousey for Cyborg, um, that's a huge fight. If you had Misha Tate versus Holly too, that's a huge fight. If you had, you know, any any of these fights, any any of these mix and match, uh, and actually Holly Holm versus Cyborg would be a huge fight. So, you know, what should Holly Holm do? Maybe if she wants to be champion, maybe she should just sit back, let Ronda and Misha fight, and we all expect Ronda to win. But uh, Misha does, I mean, she those first two fights, she did not fight the way that she needed to. Could she pull off what Holly Holm did against Ronda Rousey? I don't think so. I don't think so, and I don't think Misha's going to submit Ronda. That would be a trip, though, wouldn't it? If uh, if Misha Tate, you know, after this upset win against Holly, if if Misha Tate comes in and and submits Holly, I mean Ronda Rousey, it's going to be exciting. So this is, you know, this is pretty exciting. But uh, I don't blame Holly Holm for not fighting Cyborg. In fact, I think these girls are just like praying that she'll like pass out or something trying to make weight and they won't have to fight her because I don't think any of these girls want to f fight Cyborg and uh, I don't yeah that's just that's 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 the honest truth I mean Cyborg has really been the, the, the best female fighter obviously she was jacked on steroids blatantly jacked on steroids but I, I do believe these other girls are on steroids as well um, Misha Tate is probably the less the least amount uh, juiced up of of these four girls um, the reason I say that is they all show signs of anabolics you know Ronda Rousey 
And uh, Holly Holm definitely shows signs of that. But, you know, what the drug testing does and everything is it kind of, like I talked in this before, it kind of keeps it in check. I mean, Cyborg was on so much juice. I mean, she literally looked like a man. Like, it looked like the Incredible Hulk in there. I mean, it was it was literally embarrassing to watch. I mean, uh, you know, and that was in Strike Force, like, fighting other girls. I mean, there was no drug testing in Strike Force. I mean, I tell people that all the time, like, what do you want? What do you want? Drugs? I mean, we had Alistair over, and we had every every juice head there ever was. Uh, got people in Strike Force were just gassed up. I mean, Dan Henderson. I mean, <laughs> just blatantly just juiced to the gills. Uh, that was that's how Strike Force was. So, um, anyway, guys. So I don't know uh, Holly Holmes' next opponent. I don't, maybe she should just kind of sit back and not have an opponent for a while and see how see how this all plays out. And uh, depending on who wins or loses, the UFC, the UFC will be calling. Oh, who did they have? Oh, I think they signed Cyborg versus Leslie Smith or something. I'm like, man. I'm like, you know, it's like, geez, man. I feel sorry for these girls. I mean, if anybody's going to fight Cyborg, it should be somebody, you know, really dominant. Um, something like that. So they really should have made, they really should have made Ronda Rousey versus Cyborg. Because we've already seen Rousey versus Misha Tate. We've already seen that fight twice. Um, and, you know, if, if Misha's still the champ, and then bring somebody in, like, have Tanya Avenger versus Misha Tate. Something like that. And if Misha Tate's still the champ, Ronda could fight her then. You know, if there's nobody else, but... To me, that that's lame. We've we just seen Misha Tate versus Holly Holm, so we don't need to see that again. We've seen Misha Tate versus Ronda Rousey, so we don't need to see that again. They should bring the other girls in to fight uh, Misha Tate. I mean, heck, Cyborg versus Misha Tate. Cyborg, if she can make weight, I mean, why not have that fight? You know, what I mean, this this she's been out of MMA and, and on all that for a while. Um, and like I said, you know, Misha just. Misha just may may beat her, cause Misha, she's a tough girl to beat. You know, she's obviously not as good uh, as these other girls. Like just as far as winning rounds, but man, she's a tough girl. She's a tough girl to beat. But man, Ronda Rousey's got Misha Tate's number though. That's just just like it's like it's like Misha Tate beats everybody. I mean, she even beats Holly Holm, but she just had nothing for Ronda Rousey. I mean, she really she just doesn't. Some fighters, man, you just come across and they just got your number. And that's one matchup, you know. It's like Josh Barnett. Josh Barnett lost to Marco Krokop three times. Three times he lost to Marco Krokop. It's like, so, and, and Josh Barnett very seldom ever lost, you know. And it's just some, some fighters, man, it's just a bad matchup for them. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.